studied physics because I, I was always attracted to the subject. Uh, but then at the end of my third year, when I had to choose my master's degree, uh, I wasn't settling on anything in particular. I wanted to focus on applied physics, uh, work on something macroscopic, that is something that I could see by a naked eye. Uh, and right then, on August 11, 1999, a strong earthquake occurred very close to my hometown, Lemesos. It was a very, it was a strong shallow earthquake causing very high intensities across Cyprus. And it was a quite scary experience for me and my family. It was also a long lasting experience because for weeks we could feel the aftershocks. So later on, I learned that my university has a degree, has a project, master's project on this earthquake. And this is how I ended up uh, um, following seismology for my rest of the studies. Typical work day. Uh, there is no typical work day for a seismologist. <laughs> um, there is no such a thing because you, you, you don't know what each day will bring. It's a totally unpredictable uh, thing. So, I could spend a day at a seismological station, maintaining the specialized instruments mm -hmm. there, making sure that um, they work properly or solving problems. I could spend a day here trying to figure out what's wrong with the servers and the computers in case that there is some problem. I could spend a day um, trying to fix problems that have to do with data telecommunications. Uh, I could spend a day in the office processing and evaluating data. Um, I find challenge, a challenging experience when we have an earthquake which is uh, unusual. It's not it doesn't have characteristic, the expected characteristics. It's a non-textbook case. Mm -hmm. uh, and I needed to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. An enjoyable moment is when, after a lot of hard work and effort, a new station comes to life. And uh, we see here the ground motion of, of a previously unstudied point on Earth. 